Hey y'all, hey. welcome back to another video. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome to Worth the Wait. We are so excited to be back with you all. As you can see in the title, today's video is on a real, real topic. <laughs> and it hits really close to home, quite oh. frankly. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're gonna get right into it no because it. right because uh, today's video is something that um, you know we're excited to share with you all and yeah. so let's just go ahead and and share what what is that news that title explain that title sure yeah so as the title says I quit my job <laughs> and Peace. we kind of want to talk about that um, in this video so the short of it is that I quit my job um, to be home with our son mm -hmm during these nurturing formative years of his life. Um, so that's the obvious short reason. However, we did want to talk about how we came to that decision right. and what are some key takeaways that we've been learning um, throughout this entire experience. Mm -hmm. So let's get into the backstory. <laughs> so this decision actually began in 2016 when we had our first pregnancy. So if you're a loyal subby, you had, would have seen our video um, on our pregnancy journey mm -hmm. about how we went through miscarriages before we had um, our son Stephen. And so um, in 2016 when I uh, got pregnant, that's the first time we had the realization of, okay, whoa, wow, you know, if we're about to have a child, what, how are we going to prepare for, right. you know, for raising this child and bringing this child to the world? And that's when we realized, like, okay, what would we do? What are we going to do? Right. Because at that time, we were both working. Yeah, we were both right? working. We were both working. We both had, you know, very, um, I wouldn't say well-to-do, but, like, our jobs paid well. We, um, yeah. It was and, a double-income household, which right. is, you know, pretty, it's a blessing when you're able to have that. Yeah. Um, and even though that pregnancy ended in a miscarriage, what it did was start the conversation about what we would do because uh, at that time of our lives we had been spending like crazy mm -hmm. you know we've been eating well, out whenever I we wanted to wouldn't say like crazy I think we were just we were, we were living spending within our, our money. means we were living within our means but we weren't maximizing our savings is what I would say okay. like we spent it because we had it right even, even though we didn't have to I remember the, a lot of swiping we still swipe a lot <laughs> <laughs> but the dollar amounts are lower <laughs> true facts <laughs> anyway um yeah, so when we thought about that decision, we realized, you know, we were living in Philly, in Philadelphia, and we didn't have any family around us, so we were like, child care, like, one of us would likely have to stay home, or we would have to explore a daycare option, or, mm -hmm. you know, a, yeah, daycare, nanny, that type of situation. Right. Um, but above all, what we realized was, whatever this, the decision is that we would make, we want to set ourselves up financially to be able to do that without a burden and so to what brandon was saying earlier that's when we looked at our income we looked at our spending and we were like okay we need to transition to um living on one income in k in the case that like one of us would stay home could we survive on just one income right and so that was our takeaway from that experience um, of going through that miscarriage and that was the first time we kind of started this discussion um and then as you know uh, having children didn't happen for obviously the next two years and so we'll talk a little bit more about that financial aspect in a minute right but fast forward to, to 2017 2018 when I'm pregnant now um, things had kind of changed a bit so I was still working for the same company as background I worked for a really great company in corporate America and I was still working for this company but I was on a new team doing new work and I actually was enjoying it a lot more at the time when I was pregnant in 2016, mm -hmm. I actually was, had to travel a lot for uh, my um, role that I was in on, the, on, the, on, on in that team at the company, and that was like two to three weeks out of the month. So I knew like having a family and all that wasn't going to work with that position. But now I'm in a new position. I'm enjoying what I'm doing, and so once again, you know, we're thinking about this decision, and so much had changed for us that it was just like, all right we need to take this before the Lord to really give us guidance on what is the best thing for us to do. What saith the Lord? And, you know, <laughs> through our study on, you know, becoming parents and, you know, raising a child 
to nurture, to love, but above all, to teach them to love the Lord, we realized mm-hmm. that it was going to be important for us to be very present in our child's life. That this was Especially not during the early years. Yeah. That this was not mm-hmm. an assignment that we would just hand off to someone else so we could continue living our lives, but it was going to be very important for us to be present and active in our child's life. Right. And, and that's not to say that people who don't, people who, you know, um, allow their children to spend significant time with others are passing off that responsibility. No, that's just difference. to say that for us, we wanted to go into it as prepared as possible, right? We wanted to you know, make sure that we took the right, ans- answered the right questions beforehand and like really thought about how can we be as involved as possible in those early years, right? Right. About, yeah. And present and active doesn't have to mean physical, that's not mm-hmm. what I meant, right. because there are some parents who, they, they may not be with their child all day long, but they're very aware of who they're with and you know, mm-hmm. all those things. Like right. we, what I'm trying to say is that we weren't just gonna say like, all right, we had a baby, but mm-hmm. life goes on for Sharetta and Brandon. So that's the realization that we came to. Um, but then as we were thinking about it some more, you know, it was a pretty, uh, I would say, sacrificial decision that we were um, thinking over because my job had really good benefits. <laughs> I'm talking like benefits on top of benefits, like mm-hmm. working for this company. I just really had a great employee package. Yeah. and walking away from that and the thought of walking away from that was a little difficult um significant yeah Mm -hmm. and so you know and then on top of that i've always had a job like i've always worked as 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 soon as i was like legal i got that little authorization form from high school so that i could work as soon as i got that i've always had a job internships like just year after year always had something lined Mm -hmm. up and i've always been busy in that way so the thought of like walking away or you know leaving that was very new for me because that's just never been my reality but all in all you know uh, we talked it over we prayed it over and i decided that you know my heart is leaning towards being home with our child however um I, I was like, let me take maternity leave and see what this experience is going to be like. Because quite frankly, you know, the transition to parenthood, right. we don't know. You know, And once like, you make a decision, it's like, it's very difficult to, to go back yeah. after making it. You know, like, and say, like, like, oh, wait, actually, no, I, JK. I, didn't, I didn't mean, you know, <laughs> so like, you really wanted to be firm in um, yeah. taking that step. So that's, you know, I think that that was a lot of, lot of, a lot of part behind, you know, um, why you took yeah I just I said with postpartum depression and just Mm -hmm. everything that was going to change in our lives um, you know maybe we would need have the need for me to continue to work there for the benefit of I don't know but we decided to just let our child be born and we talk it over some more afterwards so I took my maternity leave and it's funny because it like flew by and before I knew it, I had got a notification like, oh, please confirm your return you to work too. date. And I was like, wait, already? Wait, hold up. And getting that notification and then looking at our, I think it was what, um, two months? Probably. Yeah, two month yeah. old child. Um, I'm like, there's no way that I can leave him and go to work. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no. Like, it's just literally like, I looked at her, I was like, no, like, I need, I mean, I want to be with my child, and, um... How can I leave you? Yeah. <laughs> he got her. <laughs> and, you know, uh, that, that pretty much sealed the deal. It sealed, you know, what I had been thinking about, but not 100% sure. And I'm just being honest about it. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there's some women who can confidently say, like, yes, I'm going to be a stay-at-home mom from the, from the jump, and they know that. Um, Amen. But I did have, you know, to go through a lot of prayer, a lot of faith um, that it took to, to make this decision. So I made the choice to resign from my job, and I'm thankful because it was on good terms. You know, there weren't any bad feelings or anything. Um, they got to meet our son in the process of me resigning. So they were like, oh, he's so cute. So I think that kind of, you know, helped it. We understand. Right. Yeah. Well, they, they, they were very understanding, you know, very family-oriented company, so they understood and I chose to resign um, from work. And, you know, in this day and age where 
a lot of times there's this conversation of like, oh, what do you do? Like, oh, I stay at home. Sometimes there can be the stigma of like, you know, you're just a mom or, you know, women can, some women can sometimes fear that they'll be perceived as like not having their own. Um, and that that's just a big conversation going on today. Um, but for me, it was actually very freeing once, you know, that decision was made because I now felt like I could really tap into the talents and the gifts that God gave me with free time. Well, free time. <laughs> Trust me, it's not 100% free, but um, without the obligation to be working for someone else, I can now use the little pockets of time that I have to really hone in on the gifts and talents that God has given me. And, you know, I wasn't really doing that in the role that I was in. I, I was, you know, good at what I did, and I did it well to the glory of God, but uh, I know I knew deep down inside it wasn't maximizing my potential mm. and so it was very freeing for me to say like you know what I don't I I, I want to walk into this new season mm -hmm. of life and do it without feeling held back or anything like that that leads me to the question of you know why me and not you that chose to stay home yeah why? <laughs> that's something that some people might think you know because my job had why do you look scared? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> no, because my job had all these benefits and blah, blah, blah. Like, right. why? There are stay-at-home dads out there, so. Yeah. I mean, honestly, we're, we're cut from a different cloth, you know. I look at what you do during the day, and I'm like, I don't know how I would be able to do, <laughs> or do all that. Him. What's that? With Steven. Yeah. I mean, you you do a lot, you know, with him, and... Um, you 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 handle um, a lot of stress and you know there's a lot of responsibility in truly investing yourself into your child and I think that when I look at um, our skill sets and just our you know drive and our motivations and I saw that you know Stephen would thrive in a home where you were his primary caretaker and you know just nurturing him and and um, and training him up and I've witnessed the results of that you know mm -hmm. so like I don't regret the fact that you know I chose to stay on in my job and that you chose to stay home with Stephen mm -hmm. um, you know it's also I mean I was thinking about just like the practicality of it it's like you know you are his food and 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 and, and one, point, one one fraction of you know the the energy and like the um just the provision that you give to Stephen is <laughs> his food and so that's such a that's a big fraction of it but it would just been a lot for the roles to be reversed now, I get in that what way you're saying. so like in terms of like his immediate needs right now um it made the most sense for me to be there. And that's what I wanted. Um, right. That is the decision that I came to. But yeah, like the way that like Sharetta has been a blessing to Steven, I still struggle to like put into words completely <laughs> because like I come Stop. home and I'm just telling y'all like for real, like this child is just like beaming from like ear to ear like he is just so <laughs> happy full, to see you. <laughs> so full of joy not just me no when he's interacting with you like when he looks at Sharetta I wish I could show y'all like you know he probably gets it from me but like I wish uh, when he looks at Sharetta he's just like you're amazing <laughs> you know? like, like you're amazing and I love you you know like 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 if a baby could speak I think that that's what he would be saying um, but no, he's, he's just a <laughs> tremendous blessing to us. I can see like the love and like the care that Shredder pours into him each day. And I just know that it's not for just these temporal circumstances that we're living in, mm -hmm. but it's really for like with eternity in mind. Mm -hmm. Because like Shredder was saying earlier, like our main focus is to not just raise a son, but to raise a spiritual champion and someone <laughs> who would, you know, truly you know, carry the gospel forward, like, I, and just, like, really, you know, appreciate the work that's committed to us as followers of Jesus, mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, that's what I was going to say about just why I'm so excited that <laughs> you're caring for him here at home, and, like, of course, I come home, and I spend time with Steve, and I get to have our time on the weekends, and whatnot, but, mm -hmm. um, Shredder's just, just been, <laughs> Shredder's just been so, uh, instrumental it's just been amazing oh i appreciate it babe um well yeah 
that's why I made the decision to leave my job and to be home mm -hmm. and that was the thought process and um, finances was a big part of that um, so I would not right. have been able to make that decision um, right. and I think we can end on this point mm -hmm. but I would not have been able to make that decision if our finances weren't in order um, quite frankly um, you know I've heard this before that there are like studies out there that show that it's very difficult nowadays not to have a double income household mm -hmm. um, and it is um, it's still difficult <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, it's a fake walk y'all yeah yeah but, uh, but God is putting things in Amen. place um, but uh, yeah it's very difficult to do that nowadays um, largely because there might be you know expenses to take care of from the home and that sort of thing but God has taught us and walked with us with our finances in such a way that I was able to do this sacrificially without feeling a burden um, or without feeling, you know, like we were going to be struggling um, really hard in order for me to be home. Because of that, we actually do want to share more about what that looked like. So right. we want to walk you all through our journey from like courtship to now how God has helped order okay, our finances. Right. Mm -hmm. And so stay tuned because our next video, I think it's probably like, what, two parts? I two think part two parts, at least two parts. You know, Where are we gonna talk we're really about? trying to keep these videos, like I said before, shorter and whatnot. So <laughs> at least two parts, yes. but maybe three if it gets too long. Okay. <laughs> but yes, yeah, stay tuned because that's going to be our next topic. We're going to talk about finances mm -hmm. and the role that it plays in your courtship, engagement, marriage. Right. What are all of those yeah, things? so even if people have questions that they want us to address in that video, they should leave them in the comment box. Oh yeah, yeah. For sure. So like, if there's certain comment specific below. things that you really want us to talk about mm -hmm. relating to finances yeah. and relationships, yep. then leave them below and let us know. And also comment if you are a stay-at-home mom. Comment yeah, below. Shout out say to the hey. Stay-at-home moms. It's if you're a stay-at-home mom, say hey in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> and it, or if you, you know, and let us know like why you chose to be a stay-at-home. We love to learn more about your decision and why you and your family thought that'd be yeah. something you all could do. Yep. And uh, if you just want to say hey, just be because feel free to do that too <laughs> so subscribe to our channel make sure you click that bell so that you know uh, when our next video comes out and give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and awesome. we'll see you in the next video god bless you all bye take care